Hello YouTube and welcome to a new series of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We're here starting a new playthrough on Commander difficulty. Last time we had a go at Legend and unfortunately I had to cut that series short because some stuff happened in life and didn't have time to record things but we're back and we're going to play on Commander this time because although Legend was interesting it didn't actually make it more difficult it just kind of made things slower with building and research and it wasn't that fun I would say. I quite enjoyed Commander, like it was, a, it was enough of a challenge that I, I enjoyed it, so we're going to play on Commander, just that. And we've got some new mods installed, mainly focused around adding psionics into the RPG overhaul system, and also a mini Templar build, which I haven't tried out much, but it sounds pretty cool. Uh, but we are also going to start with the Templar, because I haven't played with them that much either, because they annoyed me the last time I played with them, because uh, they're melee constantly triggering other squads or that lot. Uh, but that's why we're going to play with them this time because it's probably going to go wrong. And the plan for this particular series is to try out a bunch of different builds. Because last time I went for the generic, you know, assault rifle in everyone's hands. Everyone is exactly the same but also really, really good and it worked really well. For some, so, which I was not expecting but it did. Um, that was a thing, but because I know I'm going to make mistakes because I don't have any clue what I'm doing, I'm going to pick this, which will allow me to pick the starting abilities of my soldiers, which, if I'm not mistaken, there's one that boosts the natural aptitude and one that boosts the combat intelligence, and I think I'm going to pick that for everyone just to boost their base stats, so that if I do have to respect them, they'll actually be good at the thing that they're supposed to be doing. So that's the main reason I'm doing that. Uh, we're going to play without Iron Man because it's modded. If it gets corrupted, it will be a pain to fix on Iron Man. However, we're not going to save Scum because that defeats the entire point of trying to play well if I'm just going to reload if I play badly. So, you know, if someone dies, someone dies, and that, I have to stick with it. So, yeah, let us begin. I'm pretty excited to get started, actually, because I, I feel like I say this every time. But I haven't actually played in a while. <laughs> I mean, that's why I haven't been recording. I haven't been playing Ice Cobra in ages. And I'm pretty... It should be a lot of fun, I think. Well, not only try out new things, but, you know, relearning how to play the game. Because... Oh my gosh. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> the, uh, the slightly laggy entrance there. It's good. Right. Uh, let's move up. Let's just move everyone up as far as we can for the moment. I don't see any civilians. I think we're good. Because the civilians obviously can trigger getting spotted. I would like to be concealed for quite a while. But I could, actually, no, I see them over there. I want to stay away from them. If possible, can I get up top? I can get up top. That's where I want to go. Let's get up top. Because that will get us in nice, uh, stealthy positioning to encounter our enemies. Enemy activity. Here, um, I'm a little bit concerned by the fact I can't see anybody yet. Which leads me to believe that I'm probably going to engage both squads at the same time. Which is exactly what I want to avoid. Yep, there they are. Okay. We're going to pull away from the edge of the balcony and we're going to hug the left wall. Oh. Oh, that's not... that's... oh. That's bad. Okay. We've already seen them both at the same time. And they've seen us. Apparently. That's really bad. Bug up. Mm. I can get a double grenade in here, so let's do that. Okay, that's good. I got lucky with the grenade killing one of them. Can I rend anybody? I can rend you. I can also rend you, which is probably... Uh, yeah, let's get rid of you. Because I can put you in a flanky position. Did you just break... Oh, okay. I thought you broke the wall that was going to protect you from getting shot at. That would have been bad. Uh, and I'm going to pop you up there, I think. Yes, there. 
Because that will mean that they're flanked, which means they'll want to move. You know, well, you're currently flanking someone as well. Flanking the officer. Excellent. Uh, but you're not. Oh, you are in cover. Okay. Cool. That's good. Uh, let's put you there. We have high ground, which is really nice. And we're going to sh... We're actually going to shoot the officer with you, because you're in a worse position to shoot the other guy. Excellent. Fantastic. you got 65% chance on him. I think I'm going to take that. Yeah. I mean, it was either that or grenade this guy. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Overwatch, interesting. Oh, nice. Excellent. Alright, we're going to take another shot here. Please miss. Yay. Luckily these guys are quite bad at aiming without their officer giving them a boost. Uh, can we shoot this guy? Yes, we can. Okay, that will clear his overwatch at least. It's not too bad. Um, I think I'm going to have to take you out. I can vault somewhere, actually. We could vault that guy. Would it be worth vaulting him? Or I could just you know, rend him. I could rend this guy, it's probably better. Let's rend him. Bam. That's probably good I did that. What's well, so that would have been... Uh, wouldn't have done much damage if I got the same bad roll. Yeah, we'll grab this loot as well while we're here. Scope and balance our like this. I might try a sword class. I have not done much sorting in this before, so I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. Uh, I can't flank anybody. I could get a grenade on. You, I'm going to put around to a flank position. Put you there to flank. Since you're no longer on Overwatch, this is probably a good move. Alright, take him out, please. I just like this. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I'm not risking it. Just grenade him. Please, please grenade him. I'm not risking missing this grenade through. Them not killing that guy. Alright, run away, that's it. Shoot at my. Who are you shooting at? Oh, you. Okay, you're taking a hit there. Is that the first time they hit us? Yeah. Since you didn't kill him, you may as well kill him now. Okay then, I see how it is. Give up. And do what she failed to do by actually killing this guy, maybe. Thank you. Excellent. Alright, get you on there, please. Jeez. Alright. Okay. That. Okay, we got that in the end. We, looks like our luck is going to be pretty questionable in this playthrough so far. But luckily we did that without losing the armor, which is nice. Even with revealing both squads at the same time, I was concerned that was going to be an issue. But we made it. Uh, with only sustained one injury. A bad injury, mind you, but at least it was it was just an injury and not, not a death. Alright. Cool. Let's see what we got for our uh, upgrades. So, let me see if I can find them. It is this one, Prodigy, and the other one is Synthetic Genes. Yeah, so Natural Action and Combat Intelligence just boosts. So, the AP is boosted by Combat Intelligence, and that's us buying more skills or more um, abilities. And this synthetic genes lets us buy, buy more um, stats upgrades, basically, as we level up, which basically just makes them better, sort of on average, which is good, of course, for if I'm constantly swapping out which mode they're in, <laughs> which may well happen. Uh, we shall see. Let's see what we got here: Prodigy again, and also again synthetic genes. I don't know enough about the abilities that I want to try out to know what I want to do, so that's just be that for the moment. I may make 
more specific soldiers. Ooh, we've got a bond already. Sure. I'll confirm this bond. Since that was unexpectedly fast. I guess they must have had 10 in whatever it is. What have we got here? Research. Excellent. Uh, Modular weapons, please. The one I normally go for. Uh, where are our power coils? There. There. So that's what we're going to aim for. It's not terrible. At least it's not down here. That would have been bad. Um, it's not too bad. Okay. I can live with that. Right. I am going to look through my soldiers to see where the bonds are, and I will be back after that. So, so you guys know it. Cool. I have worked out what the pairings are for our, at least our main squad. So, uh, let us go on to the GS cave and see what we got. Okay, cool. Stockade? Ah, oh, fantastic. We got an engineer straight away. That was really good. Engineers and scientists at the beginning is a fantastic way to start. Um, My people are yeah. Go away. Yeah, getting a starting engineer is fantastic. Getting up, familiarity out to that power core is great. Scientists are also good, but I think engineer is probably a stronger star. Oh, we're inspired with hybrid materials. May as well take it then. Good getting an inspiration for the one I normally be second. Uh, good work. Hybrid materials, thank you. Fantastic. So I could buy towards that, but I can't yet. Should I just go straight for magnetic weapons? I feel like I want to. I'm going to go straight for magnetic weapons, because... That will mean it will happen faster. Now I don't have anything else I particularly want to get on the way, so... May as well go for it. Engineer. Yes, please. Uh, not now. Let's assign this engineer to clear out this one. Alien debris. Clear. Bam. Get me some more supplies, please. Thank you. Uh, right. And let us now go to okay. get these rookies. Because it's always good having more soldiers to work with. Hey. Alright. Let's do that. Cool. First proper mission. Right. I think I am going to make this a new episode. Uh, what's the timing actually? What are we at here? 14 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we will be back next time to do this mission. So see you guys then.